Stephen Wolborski is a retired U.S. Air Force colonel who's lived on Guam now for six years. After retiring from the Air Force, he was tapped as a civilian employee to oversee Anderson's development office. Wolborski is responsible for overseeing the implementation of Joint Region Marianas as well as the buildup of Air Force capabilities on Guam. So what is Joint Region Marianas? Well, Wolborski says it's a new partnership between the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force. The Navy's not taking over the Air Force uh, on Guam, but by public law, the law of the land, the United States Navy is responsible for providing what's called installation support for Anderson Air Force Base. That means they now are the overseers, the kind of the leaseholders on the real property. They take care of the facilities, they take care of the grounds, the vehicles. Wolborski also spoke about the Air Base's role with the military buildup and the transfer of 8,000 Marines and their families to Guam. Anderson will play host to the Marines' aviation combat element. This is a piece of the relocation. Uh, somewhere around 1,500 Marines and a complement of aircraft, uh, principally rotary wing type, type aircraft. The Marine Aviation Unit on Guam will be comprised mostly of helicopters, but the Marines aren't the only ones sparking construction on Guam. Anderson itself already has several ongoing construction projects. For example, the Northwest Field is under construction. The $9 million project should be completed by July. Then there's the upgrades to Anderson's dormitory, pegged at $27 million. The Aruna cleanup that is costing $19.5 million is slated for completion by the end of this month. Repairs to the south runway at a cost of $50 million should be done by May. And finally, repairs to the Arclight Memorial. The intent of that is to move the main drag, if you will, of Anderson from Arclight Boulevard, which runs along the flight line, to Chicago Boulevard, which runs behind the Arclight Memorial near the base exchange. Anderson Air Force Base will still maintain its continuous bomber presence, increase its rotational fighter capacity, continue to provide tanker support, and will soon be home to nearly 1,500 Marines.